Hey guys, Mike, WordPress How To's. Security Tips 3A Backup. Backup, backup, backup. Now, I think I've made my point now. Backups are if you've ever had your site hacked or if you inadvertently changed something that you shouldn't have, you'll understand the importance of having doing regular backups of your site. Now, this first video here on backups I'm, is using the uh, WordPress backend and using cPanel. Now, WordPress has a uh, import and export fun function built right into the uh, the WordPress uh, software. You just go down to Tools, then click on Import. <coughs> Oops, I'm sorry. That export. <coughs> now, what export does? This will back back up. It says all content, or you can just do your posts or pages or galleries. <coughs> Now, what, unfortunately, it doesn't uh, back up your attachment files, which would be like if you added a, a, anything from your media files, like a graphics or, or a picture or that sort of thing. But it does do your, uh, all your written content and stuff, all your posts and pages and stuff, but not the pictures, I don't think. But the, main, the, the easy thing about it is that you can export, download an export file, and then you can... Uh, Import it into uh, into your if you have to re if you have to reinstall all your stuff you can just import it and there you go or you can import it into a new site if you like so to download your ex export file just click on download export file and then you'll just save it to your computer as an XML file I'm just going to click cancel now to import your downloaded XML files you'll have to come to the import function under tools and then you'll have to install install the WordPress importer <clears throat> which is probably not installed on your computer but a very easy thing to do we'll just you just click on this and that'll install your importer <clears throat> I think I will install it just for the heck of it activate and run importer okay well we'll see what happens here Okay, then all you have to do to, uh, yeah, I'm just going to come back to tools, <clears throat> and we'll click on import, and see now it's already installed. The importer's installed. When you when you want to install, if you'd like to import one of the files that you backed up on by exporting your files, you'll just click on this, and then you'll browse to your your file, and then uh, click on import, and I. So that is one way of uh, keeping some of your content backed up. Now, another way, which is a more complete way, is to go to your uh, website cPanel. You'll have to log into your cPanel. And I'm already logged into mine here for this site. Then you'll want to scroll down to third section under files and click on backup wizard. You can also do it under backups itself, but I'll just click on backup wizard to show you. Now you can do a full or partial backup, and you can also restore from the backup wizard. You can re do a backup of your home directory, your MySQL databases, if you have email forwarders, uh, email filters, that sort of thing. So I'll do, I'm just going to click on backup. Now a full backup, not, like it says, you can only use this to move your content to another server. But if you're moving to another server, or uh, you can just do a full backup and then you'll have to have a, a cPanel on your new server too but then you can use this to, to reinstall your site on a new server so handy thing to do you can't uh, you cannot restore full backups through your cPanel interface this is only to move your content to another server okay so I've never done uh, use the full backup I I've just used uh, the home directory. Home directory, uh, if you do a backup of your home directory, it basically backs up all your files of your site, all your not your WordPress core files and all your non-WordPress files. So all, the only thing it doesn't back up is your MySQL database. So to do a, a complete backup of your site, you'd want to do a click on home directory and then download your home directory backup and then download this into uh, your uh, somewhere on your computer and then I'm just going to hit backup and restore again we'll come back to the screen again and then you'll also want to back up your 
uh, MySQL database. And if you have more than one database, you'll want you'll have to know which one it is, of course. Um, that's the main database for your site. Um, that's where that uh, handy text file with all your pertinent information comes in handy. So uh, you'll just click on your database for your site and then of course just save it to your computer again. And then you'll have your site backed up, the home, the home directory and a MySQL database that'll be a complete backup basically except for your email forwarders if you have those you'll want to do that. <clears throat> And of course, if you need to restore it on on your current website or another uh, website with cPanel, another uh, server with what you know, if you just want to uh, reinstall your website on another server, you'll just click on the restore tab, and then you'll have to nav click on whichever one your file you're restoring, and you'll have to navigate to the uh, file file location where you put the file, and then browse to it, and then upload it, and then you'll click restore. So that's a couple ways uh, of backing up your uh, content of your site. It's very important, if in my opinion, to do regular backups. Uh, that way you're going to, you know, it's better safe than sorry. If you don't do backups, someday you're going to be sorry. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you, uh, if you would, please subscribe, comment, and rate. And keep on keeping on, as always.